Hey, Pete here for Studio Kids today, and once again I'm joined by... Jasmine! I'm joined by Jasmine, and today we're going to be recording our first track here in GarageBand. So you've done this a couple of times before, you've recorded a few tracks, but what we're going to be doing today is we're recording a song using just loops. So we're going to pick some random loops. Well, when I say we, Jasmine is going to pick out some random loops. And we're going to be showing you how you can, without any musical ability or knowledge at all, you can pick up this great app. Now, if you haven't downloaded it and installed it, check out the first video and we'll show you how yeah, to do all of that. And we are ready to go. So in this video, we're going to get started and record us a song using loops. You ready to go? Yes. Let's go. Okay, so we are here in a brand new track. We've hit the create track button and the first thing we need to do is act, we're not gonna use the audio recorder, but we need to tap on audio recorder. So tap on that big microphone icon for me, Jasmine. And here we are in our uh, microphone ready to record, except we're not gonna actually record. Let's just go back to our track view. So how do you go back to the track view? Do you remember this? Not quite. So up the top there, you can see that we've got the little lines there that look like a bunch of tracks. So it's the third one from the left in the top. That's it. We tap on that one and here we are. We're back in our track. So we're ready to go and we're going to add in some loops. Do you remember where your loops are? Yeah. Yep. It's the little loop icon. It has like a 25 by it. That's right. At the moment we have 25 because I've got 25 different audio files in there. But ignore that. <laughs> yeah, just ignore tap. that. You won't have that. You won't have that. You'll just if have you the just loop. So tap on the loops. Boop. And That's just cancel that because I've just done yeah, some random so things. Bad. And tap on Apple loops because we want you to go back Apple into loops. the Apple loops. Now, you can see here, I've actually already done a search here. I've searched for a conga drum for some reason. But to clear this out, first of all, actually go back to your Apple Loops there. To clear it out, just press on the X over on the left next to conga. That's it. So now you can see we can search Apple Loops. We can type directly into that search box. Or you can do what uh, Jasmine's doing now. You can tap on instruments and you can go... Sorry. That's all right. So you can see how quickly you can jump straight in and start sampling your instruments. I really like that. What's that? The 70s electric piano. Should we add that in? Should yeah. that be the first? Yeah, that's our first sample. Wee. So Jasmine has just shown you very quickly how to do that and how quickly she's picked it up. Oh, but she, what we might do, why don't, um, yeah, why don't we undo that and we'll show uh, how we can quickly do that. Undo. This is a good lesson because you need to learn how to undo. Oh, is that the undo button? It is. So the undo button so, is right in the middle there next to mm -hmm. the play and the record and the pause. The is little the arrow, that's button, it. You can button. see Jasmine's pressing that over and over again, <laughs> ready to go. Right, let's go back to our loops. Mm -hmm. Now, it's going to kick you this out. Just go... Ex in cancel. Okay, we can cancel. Go to our Apple loops. Again, you won't have all of this. We probably should have cleared this out beforehand. <laughs> yeah. And what is the uh, sample that we're going to put in there? This one. It's that one. So just... Well, you've gone fast again. Quick, undo. That's all right. Let's go back to your loops. Loopies. Now this time, just put just uh, just press exclude. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so before Jasmine jumps ahead and puts it into a <laughs> track, let's show the people how you can preview a track. So you've just did it before you previewed the the loop. So if you just tap the loop once, can you do that for me now? Tap. So you did this before, but we just need to make sure that people know that if you are going through and you're scrolling through, that's it. That's how you can find out which sample you want to go with. And to stop it playing, tap it again. There you go, we're back to quiet again. Now let's show you how we do this. So can you explain what you need to do to get this from this loop browser over into our project? Well, you can see that it says two bars, four bars, with a one bar. You can also, eight bars, one bars. It's just yep, so the different lengths of bars. bars. And how many bars do we have in our project at the moment out there? Um, do you remember? Maybe not, it's eight bars. So by default, so you'll get eight bars ready to go. But we're going to move across one of these samples. So which one is so, it going to be? It's going to be the 70s electric piano. <laughs> that one! <laughs> Zero six. And how do we move it across? So you hold it down, yep. and then you get it, and then you can just put it up, put it where you want, just slide it to where you want it, and done. Exactly. And so you tap and hold and drag it, and it's going to go over into your project and start playing. Is that the number you wanted? Oh, that's number eight. That's okay. I think you had number I'll six before. One. I'll do the other one. What do I press? Uh, let's just put exclude files for now. There we go. Uh, go to your Apple Loops. Apple Loops. 
Okay, I wanted this one, but okay. Okay, so put that one in there. Now let's, uh, this is going to play them together now, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'm not quite sure they work well together. So what if you, own, oh, you're jumping ahead of us, Jasmine. You're, you're in some settings here that no one knows what you're doing. <laughs> Oh, hit the stop button. Oh, you've undone everything. <laughs> I, I have okay, weirdo. so you probably did. I'll just put back the just six. Good idea. Let's just go back with the one that we wanted. Just the one we wanted. <laughs> so what Jasmine showed you there is a whole bunch of stuff really quickly, <laughs> yeah. but that's all good. We're going to slide this back because we haven't actually shown how to do that yet. Yeah. We're going to in a minute though. Yeah. So let's pretend that, well, we do. We've just got <laughs> the one eight bar loop in here. There you go. Sounding good. All right, hit the stop button for us now. Yep. That's it. <laughs> and you'll notice that this little blue icon is up here. Jasmine will turn it off and turn it back on again. What that is is our metronome. So that keeps the beat. So you hear that ticking in the background? That's our metronome. And if you turn that off, Jasmine. That's it. So you don't need to have that on, but if you're recording your own sounds, then you might want to have that, that on so that you can, necessary. exactly, so that you can actually hear what you're doing. Yeah. All right, we have one down. So should we add some more loops and turn this into a cool, funky beat? Yeah. All right, what are we going to add now? Let's go back to our loops. Loopy. <coughs> oh, here's another loop. So it worked now. So what do you think? You've got some sort of keyboards, some high sounds. Do we need something low? Let's like search. Do we need like some bass or something to go on the low end? Because we've got the high end covered. Let's look through some bass. Oh! No. I don't think that kind of fits the feel, does it? Ugh. So all of these, you'll see that they have things like uh, flex and flow and some of the packs underneath them. So we're probably looking for something that's a bass that's a little bit more. Like it? Uh, I think that sounds pretty good. Let's okay. throw that in there. All right, drag it across. We. Let's listen to them together. Yep. Do you like that one? No, we probably need some, maybe there's some sort of 70s bass in there that we could find. Was there Is anything? Is that 70s bass? Uh, maybe. So Jasmine's now showing you the search function where we can come in here and we can search 70s. Just search for 70s by itself. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's see if there's any other 70s kind of sounds. There's nothing under bass. If you take, you press the X next to bass. Oh, oh, And, ah, now we've, <laughs> now we've lost it completely. Yeah, just type 70s. We might be able to find some other cool sounds that are going to match. And you can mix and match any sort of sounds that you like, but no, it's, it's <laughs> we're not getting anything here. That's okay. Let's just continue on and search for any sort of bass that you'd like here and put there that in go. there for you. Ah, you found it. Good job. So you got some 70s drums there. Yeah, so why don't we it's skip to bass. drums? We'll come back to bass. So let's find yeah. a nice drum that you think is going to fit with your 70s piano. Yeah, let me try this one. Ooh. That sound good? I think that I might think match. goes with this. Let's just try this. Yeah, I think that would match. Yeah. So hey. where was that? I think it was that one, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Slide it on over. And plonk it. There we go. Let's and you'll notice that, even though these are only one bar and two bar, it fills out the entire section so that you don't have to drag it out. We can change that, which we'll show you another day. Yeah. But for now, we're just going to create ourselves an eight bar pattern. Let's play this now and see what it sounds like. Sounds good, yeah? I think. So it's got a, got a little bit of a bass groove there to it anyway, um, with that uh, with that sound. Let's try and find another instrument, shall we, to complete the picture here. Um, what do you think you're going to put in here? What sort of instrument? Go back to your instruments, and let's just see some of the other instruments that we have. So what do you think we need? Maybe some guitar or some lead instrument? Something like that? Strings. Strings. Okay, let's find some interesting strings. Oh, gee, wow, doesn't sound very good. Let's keep trying. <coughs> oh, I think this is some... Oh, I remember this one. That one sounds good, actually. That one actually goes. It's a little bit different, isn't it? I this one, Daddy. Do I remember? I don't, I don't remember much. Try it. Put it in your track. See what it sounds like. And this is the cool thing, is that we can just try things out and trial and error. Can I 
Well, we'll show you. We'll show you something in a minute. I kind of like that. I think that kind of fits. It's a little bit different having like something like that, which is a Chinese air who instrument. Uh, or is it a pipa? What sort of instrument pipa. is that? Pipa. It's a pipa instrument. Pipa. So let's stop that now. And Jasmine's going to show you one of the key things. So this is probably as far as we'll get here. You can obviously keep adding tracks and adding tracks and adding tracks. Uh, Jasmine's just jumped ahead there. <laughs> but what you can do is you can adjust the volume of each individual track. So, so what Jasmine's going to do. down on this bit and then you just slap it. Yep, Done. so Jasmine's just yes. held down where there's that little handle there over on yeah, the left. You can just slide yep. that in and out. And what you can do there, do you want to explain what the three different functions are that so you've got there? You can do this where you move it, and then you, if you play it, you just hit these two. Yep, what else can you do? And you can move this one. What's the next option? And then you can do that, so which just here's one, which head brings to someone. Then that one, and this one, oh. That's it. So you can use what the mute and the solo. So the solo means it's just going to play that, or if you select multiple, you can have two instruments soloing, which doesn't make a lot of sense. But that really helps out. But what I think Jasmine was probably going to do is come in here to adjust maybe the volume. Is that what you were doing here? You're going to yeah. drop the volume down off that uh, peeper? Because it sounds good, but it's probably a little bit loud. So when you're mixing together your tracks... So Jasmine's just adjusting the volume to find a nice balance of these three tracks here. I think I did it. There you go, very cool. So I think that's sounding yeah, about way. right. So let's hear it all the way through. So there's track the bar one and bar two. Very cool. So let's hit stop here. So that's going to do it for this episode. It's really simple to get started. And did you need to use your musical brain very much at all to do that? No. No, no you didn't need to know your C no, chord from your G no, chord. No. You do. And we'll get into that in a later episode. But for now, that's a really easy way to yeah. get started and to start recording some cool sounds. And as we progress, we're going to show you how we can add other instruments to this. We can add touch instruments. We can do all sorts of cool things to this. <laughs> and we can even share these. So when Jasmine uh, comes down after... She's obviously very excited about creating this garage band yeah. track. Yeah. So next time... I've had to confiscate the other. <laughs> next time, we're going to show you how we can use some of our cool touch okay. instruments here. And keep in mind that we can also share these. So we can export these songs. You can use these as a ringtone. You can use these to... A ringtone. A ringtone. Oh, yeah, no. Right. <laughs> or you can just share them with your family and friends and show it how you can make some cool music. Or if you're making videos, you can use them as some background music for your videos. I've done that. You have done that. You've been you've done the background music for my videos before, yeah, which is you awesome. Take that video. So let's now play us out. We'll see you next time. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions about Studio Kids today, you can leave them down below. Yeah. But until next time, do, do, we need a name for this. What's the name of this track? Um, how do you name it? Well, we, we don't have to name it. I just, I just <laughs> yeah. thought you might want to name it right now. Yeah. What should it's we call called... it? Called. Wait for Ooh. it. It's called. <laughs> The Scruffy Doggy. The Scruffy Doggy. Okay. We'll see you next time. Here it is. Jasmine's The Scruffy Doggy. The Scruffy Doggy. The Scruffy Doggy. The Scruffy Doggy.